He's next. All right, everyone keep it going for Paul Barack. Uh, so here's something I learned at work while, I, while they were paying me to do something. Uh, Jack Dvorkin's first suicide machine was named Mercitron, which must have been the most depressed transformer in the whole Autobots team. Like, come on, guys, Starscream's built a giant laser on the moon. Let's go. Mercitron, she was dying of Parkinson's. The last thing she did was raise her chest weakly and say, thank you. Okay, Mercedron, you just stay right here. Just deal with that. Uh, I've been following European politics. Uh, has anyone realized that with the whole Eurozone disaster, history is repeating itself? First Greece fell, now Rome. Germany's trying to step in to replace order. And France remains divided. <laughs> Uh, how do I know all this? Because uh, I travel a lot. I love travel. Because uh, ladies, really, what's better than a guy being both broke and pretentious? <laughs> like, no, no, no. You pay for dinner. I'll explain how Lithuania is the secret jewel of Eastern Europe. <laughs> uh, but I love travel, but it's always a disaster for me. Like, I was on a train in Germany, which as a Jew, I already thought nothing would go well. <laughs> Uh, but I'm walking around, and I really think I have this. I'm going, where is toiletting? Where is toiletting? Which you would think would be, where's the toilet? But instead is, who is the toilet? <laughs> so I'm walking around on the train going, who is the toilet? Who is the toilet? And this being Germany, I know some guy on that train was going, I will visit toilet. <laughs> uh, someone was talking about New York. Here's something I've learned. Uh, every time I hear a drunk person say, I'm from New York, that means they're about to be a total asshole to a complete stranger. Uh, so, when I was four, I used to be really scared of the monster that lived under my bed. But that was before the monster that lived in the garbage disposal ate my mother's fingers. <laughs> Uh, so I have ADHD, uh, and I'm having a lot of problems at work now because, I don't know if any of you know this, there's a global, there's a global shortage of Adderall. I'm trying to focus on the positive. <laughs> but um, my problem at work, like, I try to write jokes about work, but I just don't see what's funny about working in a dildo factory with a bunch of farting British people. <laughs> uh, damn, is that all I have? Okay, well, I'll end on this one. Uh, so recently, uh, I started hanging out with my uh, girlfriend from five years ago, and it's kind of awesome, because I get to just shove my success in her face. I'm like, hey, look who only gets blackout drunk on the weekends now. <laughs> look who only gets so depressed they stare off into space without talking twice a month now. And she's like, oh, that's great. I'm married to a guy whose brain isn't just a black hole of endless sand, and I have a career. So we're both doing well. Uh, Jesus Christ, I really went through that fast. Okay, I'll end on this one. Um, something I love about the United States is cops on segways. Because nobody looks good on a segway and they know it, and here's why. There are only two kinds of people who wear helmets while standing up. Segway riders and the mentally retarded. And at least the mentally retarded look like they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> Still don't have the light, really? Um, ah, fuck it. I'll, I'll end on that one. Thanks, guys. And that is how you fix a mic stand.